<laughs> Sorry. <laughs> own self love and own self joke. <laughs> Welcome to the first ever episode of Zula Altered. I'm your host Leah and in this new segment, what we are going to be doing is DIY, crazy trend ideas, fashion, styling and all the things that I've already been doing on this channel. But I've dedicated an entire segment to you guys. So I've noticed you guys have been commenting and asking me to do a lot of DIY trends and one of the prominent ones that popped up was actually Crocs. So guess what? I'm going to start off episode 1 with a bang and I'm going to do this episode dedicated to Crocs. Let's first take us back in time to talk about the history of Crocs. What actually made Crocs popular was that in 2004, they released it as a fashion statement. It was lightweight, it was functional, it was comfortable, and also very practical to wear. Everyone down to your mother to the President of the United States had this freaking shoe. So in 2009, Crocs actually took a turn for the worse because of the recession. They almost went bankrupt, but they decided to do a turnaround and they released a lot of different varieties of Crocs, which included the heels, they included slippers, and they included a lot more functional designs that I think would cater to like more audiences. 2018, the whole ugly sneaker, ugly shoe trend was bad. I'm sure everybody has seen, you know, that the super obnoxiously huge pink and yellow Balenciaga platform Crocs and everybody was talking about oh my god why did they do this collab blah 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 but guess what the shoe sold out like, immediately once it was launched so I guess that pushed Crocs into the new high fashion realm I detested it like detested to the capital D okay because like everybody in my family had them I was just like why on earth are you buying this ugly ass shoe but you know now since it's becoming more trendy I can see how these collabs or these revamp designs can be in trend quite unique in that sense I wouldn't mind trying something like that out so on this episode what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn these basic crocs that magically appeared out of nowhere into something high fashion so let's just jump right into it so what I have in mind for these crocs is I'm gonna do three different looks but um the producer was like I have a challenge for you and he's gonna give me some envelope to let me know what's gonna happen so um thank you so much <laughs> what is this Oh my god, okay. Okay, 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 okay. I already now know why the producer asked me to do Sesame Street because look at this. These are Sesame Street gibbets. Oh my god, it's a cookie monster! I see that I also have reflecting. Reflecting Tatsuki. <laughs> what is this here? I swear. What is that? Reflective tape? I think I'll start off with DIYing them and I'll do the neon reflective look first. I think that'll be the easiest to do given that I already have like the straps here and some shoelaces that I can probably do something with. So yeah, let's jump right into the first look. <laughs> Okay, hi, hi everybody, hi. Okay. Oh, I'm so excited. <laughs> okay, so this is the final product. For the shoelace, I just looped them through. I looped the two black uh, colored chains across each other. So um, as you can see, it's hooked between two shoelaces here. For the reflective tape here, okay, it's a bit of a cha cha job lah. Okay. They're really easy to like stick and stick on the shoe, and they're quite secure, and they're easy to like take off without damaging the shoe. And at the back of it, I just stuck with a huge piece of this reflective tape and I cut it into a square. I use Velcro for everything, so I use Velcro for the straps here. I look the caravaner through the fabric itself. I'm not sure what you guys think, but I personally feel that this is something I would wear. Even though it's like a little bit out there, a little bit bright, I'm gonna go around the office to see what people think and I'm gonna wear them for the first time and do the whole neon reflective complete look. I mean, initially I was very distracted by your neon laces. I think it's very creative. I like that it's asymmetrical. I, I would wear the one on your left. Oh yeah, correct. I would never be friends with someone who wears Crocs. Oh my god! I say this so many times already in my lifetime. Also, the Crocs you wear is the, the ugly kind. They're the. Yeah, I think it's very interesting. Okay. All the carabiners and stuff. 
but I wouldn't wear that on. What score will you give it upon 10? Wow, because it's Crocs and you managed to turn the Crocs, I think it's like 8. 15. <laughs> this is like Paris Fashion Week, really. Yeah, Paris Fashion Week with like Velcro and Scotch tape, <laughs> basically. Five. Okay. Ten. 9 out of 10. <laughs> not, not 10 out of 10, only because I feel it's very unwearable for me, personally. Okay, if I'm honest, right, 2. But in your your craftiness, right, I say 9. Oh, who wears Crocs? I like that it matches your nails. It, it matches your nails. It matches your nails. Yeah. Somehow your nails also match. Okay, everybody said this, okay, it was not intentional. Since when Crocs is back in trend? Oh uh, yeah, it's actually back in trend by last year. Alright, I'm back. It's a new dawn, it's a new day. It is day two and today I am going to be doing the high fashion look. I was doing a bit of research and I saw a lot of like platform, like chunky sneakers, right? So, I had an idea. I got this pair of rubber boots. <laughs> My plan is to get the sole of these shoes onto the Crocs. How did Tabasco do this, man? I've been calling the guns, family. He's a freaking DIY king, like. I don't even know how to like cut up shoes. I mean, I'm scared, eh? Uh... Oh my god! Alright, so I'm done. And somehow or other, I managed to fit the sole of the boot onto this shoe. And I'm pretty impressed with myself. I cut up the boot just to create the sole of it. And I kept the cap of the shoe. Because I felt that this cap of the boot was actually quite sturdy. And it gave it the whole thing a little bit more structure. And I have some buckle detailing on the front here. Run a like white shoelace or any shoelace colour that you want through the holes of the Crocs and then weave it in and out so that you get this entire look. The only tedious part is just cutting up the sole of the boot itself. So I'm gonna head down to a vintage clothing store later to ask the owners what they think of this. It could probably give me a good input on like the entire design. Hi guys! Hi, hello. Thank you for being in this episode. Thank you for having us. And for all the viewers who don't know who you are, please introduce yourself to the camera. Hi guys, I'm FJ. Hi, I'm Isaac. And we We're are from, from Loop Gums. Gums. Um, so Loop Gums is a buy sell trade store. We are located mm. in Jalan Besar. And um, I mean, if anytime you want to do vintage shopping or just you know shopping for clothes in general, please come by. Thanks. Swing by. Today is another story. We're not here to shop. Mm. I do a lot of DIY stuff. So in this episode, I'm actually DIY some Crocs. Yo. Yeah. So what do you think about Crocs in general? I mean, I, I'm not hating. I, okay. I used to have a pair. <laughs> so would you wear like Crocs out now? I don't know, for me, I feel like it's all about like mixing and ma matching. Mm. So I guess if I can put an outfit together that goes well with the Crocs, you know, yeah. why not? So my theme for this today's DIY is actually high fashion. Oh. Whether I actually reach high fashion is another story. It's for you to judge. Okay. Mm. Hello guys. Hi. Hi. Are you ready? Are you? I, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know whether I'm ready to see your reactions, but okay. okay. Yo! <laughs> okay! Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, okay! It's okay, okay, okay. Not okay. bad. And it's very tech wear. Okay, okay. It's, okay. it's sick. Yo, the sole thingy that. This yeah, is so thingy. that that is not part of the shoe. Yo! Oh. Yeah! Dude. Dude, come on, man! Alright, alright, alright! Yo! I think it looks perfect. Honestly, I think it's something I would wear. Yo. Are you serious? I would yeah. wear it. Yeah. I would Don't wear lie. It. No, no, not lie. Serious, 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 legit. Serious. They didn't pay us yeah, to say yeah, this, no, but no, 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 I'll no. cop Azula X Crocs. Probably put it at like uh, 7. Mm, yeah, okay. I was just going to say that 7. No, but seven. for daily wear, dude, like 9. Like oh. daily wear. Yo, I, in my personal opinion, oh. I wear it. Beautiful. <laughs> look, look at me. Yeah. Buzzy will write a song about this, man. <laughs> okay, what? Beautiful. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm, yeah, you can really walk in them. It's, a, it's a truly a high fashion piece. <laughs> <laughs> you know, somebody pretending that somebody's taking photos. <laughs> Day 3 is the final day of my Crocs challenge and today my theme is Sesame Street aka why I'm wearing this shirt Okay, my table is going to be less messy today because I already know what I want to do Who are you? Who are you? I do not recognize you This is 
my uh, Sesame Street X Crocs collection. I had the whole piece of fur that I got from Daiso. And what I did was I measured out the outline of the croc. Then after I cut out the shape, right, I realized that it was easier to actually find the placement of where you want to put the gibbet, right? And then you poke the holes through. It actually helps the fur stay in place. Once you're done fixing the icons in place, then you can velcro the sides down. That will be much easier. So I like the concept of like the bedroom style. So um, later you will see my outfit. It's very pajama-esque. I really took a photo of my outfit and uploaded it to my IG story so I asked two questions so the first one was actually to ask people to rate the crocs itself and the second photo was actually asking them what they think of the whole look and I gave the comment function so people could kind of reply to me I've posted this for about two hours already the average rating honestly is actually is quite high it's like maybe three quarters of the bars previously I actually uploaded the neon look onto my IG as well right but that one was like a 50% rating so Bruh. I think this one was like a bit more of a favourite Someone commented Crocs are not as bad as people think Well, I mean I agree with that And then uh, my producer decided to comment to ask Why isn't this sold in stores? I'm like, I don't know At Crocs hit me up man One of my friends commented He replied saying He would cop but it fit perspire GG's yeah But bonus points for the cost plushies Honestly, thinking about it right The fur will probably kind of track heat And it will be pretty like sweaty inside Isaac from Loop Gums replied me and he, he said that it's not bad, concerned about the rain, but visually thumbs up. I didn't think about the whole concept of weather and whether it will affect this. I was just thinking like, oh my god, what would look like cool on the shoe? That is actually a concern that I didn't think about. But yeah, thank you Isaac for pointing that out. A lot of people commented I look like I'm going to sleep, which was kind of the point. <laughs> a lot of uh, fire emojis and someone said caps, it looks good, no joke. I'm like, appreciate it, thank you. Overall, I felt that the whole experience designing these three crocs, I was faced with a lot of challenges. Given all the tools I had, thinking of the design and coming up with something original is already hard in itself. I think that if I had more resources or a longer time period to kind of like stitch everything together, right, it would look more like holistic lah. But I gave myself like an E for effort, okay, please. <laughs> My favourite in terms of design was design number two, which is the high fashion one. Because I really like the chunky sneaker idea, I really like the platform so I just wish it fit together on the shoe better. The easiest to wear, the most practical, and I guess like the the favourite would be the Sesame Street one. So I would love to know what you guys think about the three designs. So let me know you love it or you hate it and you know if there's anything I could have done to improve the design itself. And also let me know what else you want me to customise in future episodes of Zula Altered. And don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Bye! 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 <laughs> Bye lah! <laughs>